Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the warm reviews on the first 11 Goose Creek Wax Melts that I pulled about 12 days ago, I guess. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go over these. I'm going to give you my opinions. If you'd like to see the video of the original video of the wax melts that I pulled, um, you can go back to that video. I will try to put a link in the comments down below or the description down below. I'll try to do that. I'm not very savvy at that kind of thing, but I will definitely give it an attempt. So, all right, so here we go. Are we ready? All right, so I used one element 20, 20 watt, 20 watt hot plate warmer. I guess it's a hot plate. It's a multi-candle. You can put a candle on it. You can put a little plate on it, but it's from Better Homes and Gardens. I used this warmer for all the wax. So all this wax got the same heat, the same room, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start. The first one that I worked on was apple cider ice cream. Now the scent notes on this one are apple, pear, caramel, cider, and ice cream. Pretty self-explanatory. And it's a vibrant kind of a watermelon pink red wax. Um, this one, this one went better than I expected. I don't really do well with cider scents. I'm finding they're not really my favorite. I don't even know why I ordered this one. I guess it, it just looked appealing to me. <laughs> and I wanted to give it a try. Um, to me, it's medium strength. It was very sweet, um, even into, I kept it in my warmers for like a 24 hour period. Now I didn't warm all of these in a 24 hour period. When I went to bed, I would shut it off. So um, some of these got 16 hours, some of these got 12 hours. Um, but for me, nice medium strength, clear through during that time. Um, it's very sweet. You do get the hint of the ice cream on this one. Definitely of a cinnamon, cider, apple blend. It's it's delicious. I don't think I would repurchase this one just basically because cider is not, this type of cider is not high on my list. Now, I do like cedar cider from Scentsy. I do like that one. But this, I don't know. So anyway, I enjoyed it just the same. Out of five stars, I'm going to rate these on stars. This gets a two, I would say, as far as as me wanting to repurchase this. Um, the quality of the wax is great. And there are people out there that like this scent. I mean, I don't mind it, but not a repurchase for me. Okay, the next one that I worked on is Summer Moon. Hold on, let me go turn off that phone. I have a house phone and it's connected to my internet. I get like a free landline with it. And I swear to goodness, it never rings until I start working on a video. It just it just never happens that way. So I brought the phone out with me. So if it rings again, I'll just push the button. Okay, we're going to talk about Summer Moon. I actually picked up this wax melt last, last spring, I guess. So I've had it in my arsenal, my drawer for a while. And the scent notes are um, warm woods, bergamot, citrus, light lavender, soft pine, patchouli moss, and veveter. Now, this one reminds me a lot of Scentsy's Southern Evening, although there are different elements in this one. Um, um, it was very, very strong, clear through. I would say I would give it an eight on strength and throw. I mean, it was incredibly strong. And I warmed it about 16 hours, and it was just the most amazing scent. I really did enjoy it. And it's got this really beautiful kind of a royal blue colored wax. On cold, it's kind of almost got like a soapy scent about it, almost like a men's body wash. But when you warm it, the body wash essence kind of goes away. It boils down into a beautiful, warm, sultry scent. I think it's gorgeous. Yes, I would repurchase this one again. I give this one a three out of five stars. So that is Summer Moon. All right, I'm just looking at my notes right here. Okay, the next one is Peanut Butter and Jelly. And here is this one. I just love the picture on this one. 
and it's got a beautiful colored kind of a looks like a jam jelly colored wax on cold I pick up the peanut butter and the bread now when you warm this the jelly comes out and there's some people that have been saying they can smell grape jelly I smell a mixed berry jelly with this one uh, this is good but I get all I get the peanut butter I get that fresh baked bread and I get the jelly it's good it is really good this one I'm it's a like a medium to a seven strength and it performed quite well I would definitely repurchase this one this one gets a three out of five stars as well all right the next one is going to be sage leaf and citrus. This is another one that I've been hanging on to for a while, and I thought, you know what, I just really got to warm it. I like the sage scents. Um, I think Yankee has one that I really like. I think it's what, sage and citrus? This is sage leaf and citrus, so they just, you know, change it up a little bit. But you know what, I think I like this one better than the Yankee version. Um, this is sage, citrus, warm leaves lavender, geranium, patchouli, and powder musk. This one is nice. This one just boils down into a wonderful, sagey, earthy scent. I love this one, you guys. This is very high on my priority list to repurchase. I'm going to give this one a five out of five stars. It is just amazing, amazing. Oh, I would be interested in to buy a candle in this one. So that is sage leaf and citrus. All right, now we're moving on. Pina Colada. Here we are. Has kind of a minty green wax. The scent notes are pineapple, coconut, cherry, orange, and vanilla woods. Um, I mainly get pineapple and coconut, but just a slight hint of cherry. The cherry does come out a little bit more when you warm it, but for the most part, you guys, it just smells like a creamy blend of coconut and pineapple. It is so good. It really does smell like a pina colada. Very high on my repurchase list. Nice medium strength. I love this, you guys. I love this. I would repurchase this one again. I'm going to give this one five stars. This gets a five star rating for me. I just, I just love this one. So yes. And it, whenever I say five stars, that means do I stand by these? Yes, I do. These are like the most amazing scents ever. So, and always remember too, these are my, these are my own impressions. All of these are my impressions, you know, so everybody is different. Okay. The next one is blueberry pancakes. Where are you blueberry pancakes? All right. I also picked this one up last year, and it is sugary maple, pancake batter, fresh blueberries, caramel syrup, baked vanilla sugar. And there's the wax. Now with this one, I get a vanilla blueberry batter. That's what I'm getting. There's... This is kind of a vanilla, a sweet vanilla blueberry batter, and maybe it's the syrup in here that kind of gives it the sweetness. But it's delicious, you guys. So since he has one that is um, called Blueberry Pancakes, and um, that one's a little bit stronger, quite a bit stronger, actually. The pancakes in that one is like more robust and crispy brown. This is a light pancake. Um, I'm not even sure. Maybe it's just barely cooking on the griddle that you can smell it. Um, but still the same. I love this version of blueberry pancakes just the same. I would definitely repurchase this one again. And this one gets a four out of five stars for me. All right, so the next one is Perfect Day. Now, this one really, really, really surprised me, you guys. I didn't know what to think of this one. I just thought, I'm just going to buy it and see what happens. You know, I didn't even look at the scent notes. And when I got this, I thought, oh, it's kind of laundry. Kind of has a laundry vibe to it. Kind of a beautiful ladies laundry vibe. Kind of like, it's 
kind of like um, White Sands from Scentsy got mixed up with Clean Breeze from Scentsy. That's what it smells like to me, so that if that gives you any idea. And I know I talk about Scentsy a lot, but I'm a Scentsy girl, you guys. Sorry. So um, my first love is Scentsy. So that's what this reminds me of. This is almost like, you know, White Sands and Clean Breeze got together, had a baby, and it smelled like this. And it is so good. Now, when you warm it, that soapiness goes away. And it just turns into this beautiful scent. Let me see if I can read the scent notes. It is, let's see, it's right here. Um, warm amber, sandalwood, sugar, suede, and musk. It's not sweetie at all. There's no suede. I get that musk, that beautiful amber, and that kind of like that freshness that you would get from laundry, but not soapy when you warm it. Oh, and maybe I'm thinking of White Sands because White Sands kind of has that sensualness about it also that is so nice. So this is Perfect Day. And I would give this one a five out of five stars too. I mean, this one was a surprise. I was like, whoa, hello, Kelly. Yes, definitely high on my repurchase list. Okay, the next one is Waffles and Ice Cream. It's got a glad of creamy white wax. The scent notes are um, waffles, syrup, vanilla sugar, whipped milk, and butter and batter. Now, I don't know why they said ice cream on this one because there's no ice cream smell in this. I might get like that milk smell, like the whipped milk and the waffles and the butter on top of the waffles. There isn't really a whole lot of sweetness. It's almost like they put, slathered it with butter, like this whipped butter. And then you get some somewhere in the back note, you get this sugary sweet milk note. And it's not a sour milk note at all. I just really like this one, but not a high priority for me to repurchase. Um, I give this one a two out of five stars. I mean, it wasn't bad. Nice medium throw. Um, not bad, but probably not a repurchase for me. Okay, the next one is going to be Autumn Sunset. Now this one on cold, I fell in love with. I just thought this was the most amazing scent ever and I was in love with it. And then I warmed it and my, the scale went down. I was like, dang it. Um, I was, I was hoping, you know, it would, it smells better on cold to me than it does warm, if that makes any sense at all. And sometimes that happens. Um, there's also citrus on top of this one with, um, but it, it burns away quite quickly. I wonder if that's just, is just something that Goose Creek does. Their citrus isn't very strong. So what I might do is I might put this with another citrusy scent that I have from another company and see if I can get that scent that I like, but it's a very beautiful masculine scent and I absolutely love it, but not enough, not as much. It's it's better on cold. That's all I can say. It smells good on cold. It really does. But I love it just the same. Good job, Goose Creek. Good job. I'm going to give this one, I think I said a two out of five stars. If I didn't say that, I just said it again. If I said it again. Sorry. Two out of five stars for this one. So let's see, where's my two pile? It is right here. Okay. All right. And then I went through, well, actually a little bit more than through. This is my all-time favorite. I'm just going to tell you right now. Sugar donut. Rather than one cube, I use three. I love this scent. I wanted in a few more warmers besides just one because I was like, man, this smells so good. This is like as if you were to put your head, I know I've said this before, put your head inside of the, the glass case, you know, where they have all the donuts. Let's say you were the you were the man or the woman working behind the case and you just smell all the donuts. You're getting ready to give somebody some donuts, but you you're you can smell all the donuts and you can smell the maple bar over here. You can smell the chocolate bar over here. And maybe that jelly filled over there is, is telling you something too. And then you've got the cinnamon ones. This isn't a real heavy cinnamon, but there is cinnamon here. But to me, this is like a donut party. It really is. It's just like all the donuts got together and had a party. And this is what the room smells like. You guys, it is so good. You get that warm, wonderful, fresh melt in your mouth. Not dry, not stale, just fresh, just barely baked donut. The donut is still warm. 
It's been rolled in sugar. It's got a light hint of cinnamon. It is so good. In fact, when I warm this, you guys, I got really, my, my sweet tooth cravings really kick in when I warm this because I'm just like, man, I gotta have a bowl of cereal. I gotta have something. This just smells so incredibly good. In fact, when I was warming it, I was just finishing up. I made apple cookies because I was just like, oh, I got to have a cookie. And I try to stay away from sugar, you know, but it's like you just, you just sometimes you just got to have to have a cookie. So I ate three actually. But um, so I made apple cookies and just beware when you warm this, you might really get hungry. <laughs> just saying, just saying. And I think the scent notes are like fried donut, warm sugar. Fried dough, cinnamon swirl, warm vanilla, and sprinkled sugar. So there's lots of dough, lots of sweetness. Five out of five stars. Yes, absolutely. All right. And then last but not least, I have Dragon Fruit Beach. <clears throat> this was kind of like a fun fruity scent. I'm not sure what dragon fruit smells like. All I know is this was fruity. It was kind of a different kind of a fruit, though. So maybe that's what dragon fruit kind of smells like. I'm not sure. But the scent notes on this one are dragon fruit, mandarin, pear, and pineapple. I definitely get um, the pineapple. Mm -hmm. And that dragon fruit, maybe that's what I'm smelling. Not so much the mandarin, but um, now I'm only going to give this one star. Not because it didn't smell good. It did smell good. It just didn't have a lot of thrill. It's really light. In fact, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this one about a 2 because it was really, really, really light. But I'm going to finish this one. I think I might mix um, Sensi's sugared strawberry with this one. I think that would be really good. And I have some extra bars of sugared strawberry. This would be really good to mix with. So that's how I'm probably going to end that one. So you guys... That's what I went through in the past 11 days. I hope you enjoyed me rambling along. Um, I enjoyed creating this video. I'm going to go ahead and start on the next 11 cents, probably tomorrow. So tomorrow is Sunday. And I want you guys all to have a beautiful, wonderful, blessed Easter weekend. Um, do all those fun things with your family. If, if you like to color eggs or you like to go on Easter egg hunts. You know, I miss those days when my kids were little and we did the Easter egg hunts and stuff. I, I really do. But you guys have a blessed weekend and I will be talking to you soon.